Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now in this video, I'm going to show you an exciting feature in Virtual DJ. Stay with me and I promise you are going to enjoy it. But first, let me show you something. So Virtual DJ has announced on their Facebook page today that they have a link tracks feature. And what this means is that you kind of create a song steps notepad, right, for yourself. And then it means that you are able to create a link between songs that you think mix well. And you can easily pull them up in the side view when you are mixing. So I'll drop a video on that shortly. But today, let's go into the business of today. So for the business of today, you can see that I have two colored songs here, right? What does it mean? It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with the song or nothing. It is just a feature called what? the quick filters right so in quick filter now you are able to color your songs based on a lot of metrics so here i'm coloring uh, every song that has a key g hash yellow all right so let me go ahead and say that okay i want to also color songs with the key a hash right i want to color all songs with the key a hash maybe somewhat green so i add this and i'll choose color green Okay, and then I'll go with key and I'll see the key is what? A hash. All right, and you can see this is green. I can add more conditions and I'll say that. So maybe the BPM, okay, is um, um, less than or equal to, no, so let me do a greater than or equal to, right? So greater than or equal to 100, all right? So it means that I have two conditions for this. So it should color it green if the key is what? A hash and the BPM is greater than or equal to 100. So I'll save this, I'll add one. And this time I am going to color a song according to the BPM. And then I'll say that if the BPM is greater than or equal to say 102, all right? and I'll close this so give it a color let's say blue all right so you can see here all songs greater than 102 are colored word blue with the bpm greater than 102 are colored blue all right so let me go ahead and then color this as well so the every song lesser than 100 right should be colored uh what color we do we have left so we have okay this this purple right or magenta sorry okay so i'll say that the bpm is less than 100 okay and i'll close this so you can see that i now have a colorful uh track list okay so if i should open another uh, track list you can see the different colors that we can have here okay so as far as these exist then we are going to have um you know these colors right now there is another thing the quick filter itself so here are color rules so now let me set a quick filter now with the quick filter you are able to set either a list right or we can just do an s we can do what have you but here i'm going to just look at the list feature all right so the bottom name will be bpm and give me a range of five all right so B list bpm range five so i'll close this and then you can see it adds a button here all right now what does this button do if i should click on bpm you can see that i have a range of what bpm so it gives me from 70 to 74 to so the difference right so 70 70 71 72 73 74 that is like five okay so if I click here, I will have BPMs between 70 to 75. If I should, uh, if you click it again, the filter goes off. So if I want 100 to 104, then I will have the list of songs here. Okay. So I can also create another one. All right. And then here I will say, the, give me a BPM of list of range like 10. All right. So it means that it will, it is going to give me a range of what 10. Okay. So let me close this. Uh, let me close this and I'll give it a name of BPM 10 and let's see what this range will do. So you can see here now, it now 
takes me to what 70 to 79 80 to 89 unlike this that was having five uh difference okay so you are able to so these are filters so you are able to i mean play with it okay so we can have maybe not bpm but rather by let's say year right and then lists so here i want a list of let's say two years two years okay and then i'll close this and you can see i have a year filter and it gives me a year you know two years in between so the starting year counts as part of the um the year all right so you can see these are two years two years so 2020 is one year 2021 is uh, sorry 2000 is one year 2001 is also another year 2012 right is a year so this one also works depending on the the metrics of the song so probably this these are the songs are the songs that i have there few of them have their ears in their songs uh metadata right so that is why we can have this so if we have a lot of songs that has their metadata and have their ears then i would definitely have a lot of them all right so that is that is about smart uh, filters so i hope this video was insightful and educative kindly hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that and make sure you turn on your notifications so that you'll be notified anytime i drop a new um, video and stay tuned i am going to bring you another video on linked tracks stay safe and make the best out of every day the name is king kobe